Okay, I want to show you a couple of things about our campsite. We've been here for a week now, camping in this beautiful spot. We've had some fantastic weather. But I want to show you our, our, um, our setup here. We've got the camper trailer set up and we've got a full tarp right over the roof. The size of this tarp is an 18 foot by 24 foot. As you can see, it goes right over the roof and there's an air gap between them with extra poles on the sides to give us the extra shade and the runoff. So if we get bad weather, the water can run away from our camp. Here you can see on the side of the trailer here, we've got a water tank over here for drinking water. We've also got another water tank underneath for washing up. A nine kilo gas bottle, that's more than enough that's gonna last for 10, 10 days, even up to two weeks of, of running. We've got that running our barbecue here. We've got some bacon and we've got some flathead cooking on the barbecue. So that's our little cooking setup. We've got some eggs gonna get going and we just convert this across from a barbecue plate to a stove, which is fantastic. As you can see, we've got a bin attached on the outside of our trailer. This is a, called a crock bin, it just lifts on and off. And uh, around this area where we've been camping, there's lots of wildlife at night. We've got possums, we've got kangaroos, we've got lots of animals coming through, bush rats. So if we leave any rubbish lying around, they're actually gonna get in and open the bags and create havoc. So we actually get rid of all of our rubbish every night before we go to sleep. So coming around the side here, you can see how we've got this set up. The ground surface here is fairly dusty and dirty. So we've got a sea gear mat on the floor. The dirt drains through it and it doesn't come back up. So it keeps us, when we're going in and out of the camper trailer, nice and clean on the floor surface area here. Well, over the back here, we've got a solar panel operating. So we're well set up, set up here. This is an unpowered campsite. There's no power here. So we've got to provide our own power and everything that we need for lighting, cooking, um, for seven, seven or eight nights we've been here. So this is a 60 watt power film solar panel, an amazing product. It folds up, so you can see it's flexible. It folds up into a little 20 by 20 centimeter um, pouch. And we've got that power um, powering up this uh, 50 amp hour battery here. And the battery there, every night we have power to run lights and power to run a fridge if we want it. So we've got an esky with ice and we've got a fridge running giving us all the power we need and maintaining a trickle charge on that battery every day to give us the power we need to run. So you can see we've actually got electric lights up here. I've got a, an inverter. So an inverter taking 12 volt power out of the battery, running that to 240 volt, and I've got low, watty, low voltage lights. They've got independent switches. We've got another one inside the camper. So at night time we're sitting here at night and we've got what we need. Plus we've got extra little lanterns at night time and we've got torches and all that sort of stuff. You can see on the camper here I've set up, we've got a drop-down shelf. So that's our, our workbench, if you like, our drop-down shelf. Um, we've got our chairs set up out here. We've got our picnic bench set here. This whole camper can be enclosed. Um, another little tip I wanted to show you, if you can come around this side. On the, I'm setting up a fly sheet over the top. Amazing how much of a difference this makes, putting a fly sheet over your tent or over your top of your camper trailer makes your tent much darker in the morning so it's you're going to sleep better it's also much much cooler when it's a hot day but here I've got some mushroom domes now we you find these in our stores the mushroom domes sit on the top of a pole with a spring and a little cap on it so when you put a tarp over the top it actually takes the pressure off you're not going to put a hole through your tarp and if the wind picks up it's uh, it's got that um, pressure relief on it and all of the guy ropes that we use have got springs on them so there is, if the wind does pick up, then these springs are going to take the pressure. So it's very important every day when you're setting up a campsite that everyone is constantly looking around at the ropes and the pressure. There's correct tension on everything. Everything's pegged down properly. Here we've got beautiful weather. We've got no, no wind at all. But if the wind picks up, someone has to go around and check the guy ropes. Check that there's tension right, that everything, everything's correct. There's no slackness. Nothing's going to fall over and your whole structure is going to withstand the weather conditions that you can face. you also got effective drainage. So the other thing I've got is a little shovel. Just in case we need to, we need to build a, um, a drain to run water away from the, the ground floor of the tent site. But it's been a fantastic site. For seven, seven days and nights we've been here. Kids have had a ball. They're off running around, playing around, chasing animals in the park at the moment. We've got wallabies, we've got kangaroos, we've got echidnas and we got possums at night all over the place. So we've had a wonderful time here at this campground, caught some fish, gone some kayaking, had a great time.